And on to another big story from Meghalaya. A senior state congress leader Amparin Lingdo on Saturday raised questions on the initiative of the ruling MDA government with regard to the implementation of ILP in the state. Amparin Lingdo, while referring to NPP's criticism on the Congress for raising the ILP issue, said that it is the MDA who had promised to implement the ILP in the state. One year has lapsed. And at this point of time, the scenario has completely taken a 360 degree turn. When we were in government and we had constantly approached the central government, for the promulgation of the ILP in the state of Meghalaya, central government stood to its ground saying that it is an archaic law. Political platform have every right to talk. So I feel that if the NPP is rubbishing all of our queries, then leave it. Leave it be known. But go ahead and bring what the people want because it is you who has promised it. Fine, we didn't do anything for so many years. But why are you not doing it? What stops you from doing it? Are you also facing the same obstacles that we faced for so many years? Are you now understanding that it is not merely a simple two-minute agenda where you will just insert the word Meghalaya in the ILP? Principal Act? must not forget words spoken by leaders of this government in the floor of the house. Amparin further said that there has been neither any amendment in the ILP Act nor insertion of additional states or areas. She said that the central government has accorded ILP status to the state of Manipur and has also included Dimapur within the purview of the ILP in Nagaland. There was no amendment to the ILP, no insertion of additional states nor areas to the ILP. All of this has happened alongside the introduction and the passing of the erstwhile bill of the citizenship amendment. So I hope that it is all in perspective and if we may debate further on this matter, I am willing because matters of great concern of the community should not be rubbished out. And government of the day has to step up and accept that they should not have made it look like it would be an easy job to get the government of India to nod on our proposal of inclusion in the ILP Act. And reacting to NPP's criticisms, Amparin Lingdo said that the manner in which the government is handling criticism is very immature. It is natural for the opposition to question government on lapses of several important issues, Amparin Lingdo added. manner in which the government is handling criticism is really very immature. It is but natural or the opposition to question government on lapses of several important issues. It was not the Congress government that brought out an, an ILP, a government resolution on the floor of the House. If they say Congress was sitting and did not give the ILP, my question is, if we failed why are you not doing it? Delay tactics are very predictable. And if you say a delay tactic, and if you see that people are saying, yes, we are going, we are going, let me put the record straight. The Congress Legislative Party, which is a conglomeration of all 19 Congress elected MLAs, has taken a decision that under no circumstances are we going anywhere. There is no need for us to go to Delhi because we already consented in our debate when the government brought forward and placed in the table of the house the demand on the resolution for 
implementation of ILP.